Mission, but their mission stays the same. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Jamie Ajoule. A controversial bill is now law. It's called Clean Slate and it will seal criminal records of people who have served their time in prison for some crimes. Advocates say it will give more than 2 million people a second chance, while others disagree. Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine has more. In Brooklyn, Governor Kathy Hochul signed Clean Slate, which will seal criminal records for those convicted of a misdemeanor or some felonies years after they've served their sentence. We're not sealing records for sex crimes or most Class A felonies. Employers and the public have a right to know about the sex offenders and the worst violent criminals before they give them a job. Criminal records have prevented people from getting jobs in housing. Under the law, these records will be sealed from employers and landlords, but not for those who need access to them. Law enforcement will always have access to these conviction records. I've heard law enforcement tell me they didn't think that was the case. I said, no, that's exactly the case. Whether they're carrying out an investigation, issuing an order of protection to protect someone, or vetting someone to work in jobs where they're dealing with children or elderly, places where a background check is required. Eleven other states have already passed similar laws. The New York Business Council supports the legislation, saying it's beneficial for the economy. For New York State alone, over 400,000 jobs could potentially be filled. However, Republicans are against clean slate, including Senator Jake Ashby. We live in a state that already provides reasonable sec second chances for people, and what this bill is doing, again, is removing judicial discretion. We're seeing it done across the board. We're painting with a broad brush, and that has been the case for so many criminal justice related bills that we've seen over the years. I reached out to the District Attorney's Association of the State of New York, but was told the association is not commenting on clean slate at this time. The law will go into effect a year from now. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. In response to this new law, Senator Joseph Griffo released a statement in which he said, quote, the governor signing the Clean Slate Act shows once again that the administration and legislative majorities care more about the needs of criminals than law-abiding citizens. While I am not opposed to rehabilitated individuals being given a second chance and the opportunity to succeed in their new life, this bill will shield criminals from the consequences of their actions by hiding certain criminal histories from prospective employers and other entities for a period of time. New numbers tonight from the Oneida County.